Hi everybody, so here I am in Canberra, Australia, and this is what it's like to kind of travel with Susan. <laughs> the kind of things you run into that are so frustrating you just can't figure it out. But I figured this one out, so I just want you to know this is proof that I have the capability of figuring these things out. But it is a puzzle, so I want to show you this is great. So I come into the hotel room yesterday with Lauren from the Australian Skeptics, Canberra Skeptics, who's showing me around. And I said, oh, a TV set. Let me check it out. Let me see. I haven't seen TV in ages. I don't really know what's going on. So I'll watch a news program or something in the background while I'm doing other things. All right, so here's the TV. No problem, right? Remote control right here. I can do this. So I'm, so I'm pushing the little button. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing's happening. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I know in Australia they have these outlets where you have to actually turn on the outlet. Like in America, it's just always on. So, okay, that's on. So I'm looking all over the thing. She's hitting buttons. I'm hitting buttons. And we find the little button over here on the side of the, uh, the TV. And we're like, okay, great. Turn that on. Okay, that's got it. That's on. Still nothing's working. Okay, that's fine. Um, here's a phone. I'll call down the front desk. Dell zero. Get a... I don't know if you can hear that. Just a dial tone. So I'm hitting zero, 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 and nothing's happening. Looking for a paper. There's a little paper on how to use the TV in your room, but it doesn't tell you how to turn the darn thing on. So, okay, all right. Great. Um, okay, yeah, place is a little bit of a mess. I just woke up. I got bunk beds. This is, this is a massive room for a big old family. So I get my key and I say, okay, great. I'm going to go out my little room. And I notice in the bathroom and everywhere else, light switches, but none of them work. Here's the bathroom's light switch. Can't see anything. Nothing's working. So I'm going out the door. It's a long hallway they have. And as I'm getting ready to go out the door, I see this thing here on the side. And I'm going to leave this up so you can see what I'm doing here. Check it out. There's this little switch here with little swap things underneath it, which you're supposed to put your key in. So first, I couldn't see it because I closed the door, of course, so I couldn't see what I was doing. But I was putting my key in here, and there's this little thing in here. And then I really supposed to put this plastic thing in here. So check this out. You push this in there firmly, and you make sure this little light is on here at the bottom. And then you go back into the room. Let me see if I do this right. Let me push it in here a little firmer. And then you go over here. And now the lights work. <laughs> I think i seen something like this in Britain. Okay, so great. I got power. Lights are working. So let's go back to the TV set. Still not working. Okay. <laughs> I check the switches again. It doesn't do anything. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I try calling again. Nothing works. Just dial tone. So I go down to the, the um, front desk and I say, okay, wh what's the deal? Wh what do I got to do? And they, and they said about the phone, I'm supposed to dial, I think, nine and not zero. There's no note on here that says that. I wonder if that's just normal in Australia. And then they said, possibly over by the bed, the main bed, there's a switch. Okay, nothing's labeled or anything, but there's all kinds of switches. This one turns on a light. This one turns on another light. This one turns on another light. This one doesn't appear to do anything. So maybe there's a light not plugged in, or maybe it's the miracle light. Oh, look, the TV has a red light on it now. So you come back over here, and <laughs> you say, all right. Hey, it's blue. That means it's working, right? See, it's working right there. <gasps> Look, TV. <laughs> so to get everything to work, you have to have the right. It's like playing that game. Oh, look, it's the news. It's like playing uh, Mist a little bit. First, you have to hit this switch, and then you have to hit that switch, and then you go back to that switch, and then it should work. But only if you do it all in the right order. So it's been kind of an interesting little... Um, world here. Hi, there I am. It's been a little interesting world here in Canberra and my actual trip to Australia. Everything is a little bit of a learning curve. Nobody tells you these things. Um, and no wonder we look like just stupid Americans 
because I, in America, you just flip a switch, the lights are on, turn off the switch, the lights are off, you, the electricity is always on, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I only had one key, and I said, I'm going to go downstairs and do something, and then the other person's left in the room, and they, and you take your key with you to go do whatever it is you're going to do, so you can get back in, if that other person doesn't have their key and the little switch around the corner, then how are you supposed to do anything? I guess I sit in the dark if I'm sitting here by myself. No electricity or anything. It's possible that everybody's supposed to go put a key in the... When somebody's leaving for the night, you have to go get the key and you have to go put the uh, spare key in the thing. Or... You have to go and get up when somebody comes back to the room, knocks on the door, and you have to get up and go knock on the door. That's not good if you're sleeping in. I mean, this has got room for a queen bed and three qu and three twins, so that's that's five people in here easily. I don't know. Somebody can explain why it is that there's so many little switches and things. I would I would actually like to know what's the reasoning behind this. Does it save electricity? Is it safer to have the outlets turned off and switches all over the place? Is this normal? I don't know. Just a little curiosity I'm running into here in Canberra, Australia.